Hi, welcome to Wild Air RC. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at a brand new long wing brushless uh, A10. We've got a main wing assembly, We've got some instructions. We've got uh, two sheets of stickers for decals. <coughs> We've got a sta uh, horizontal stabilizer, elevator, We've got a canopy, We've got a three cell 18 uh, megahertz, uh, mil uh, excuse me, milliamp battery, a little accessory packet, got some tape, uh, some screws, uh, landing gear, struts, two working fans. Got a servo here, some tires, some glue. <clears throat> nice little LiPo battery charger. Set up for either a two cell or a three cell. Got the fuselage. Looks pretty good. Uh, looks like the uh, canopy cover is Velcroed on. I'm probably going to change that over to a magnet. Uh, looks like we got it out of the box, and the canopy cover is already broken. Got the uh, little piece right here, a little bit of glue, we'll take good care of that. So, like I said, I'm going to take, uh, we're going to fly this completely the way it comes out of the box first, and then uh, later on I'm going to go ahead and remove this Velcro and put some good earth magnets in. 72 uh, megahertz uh, transmitter and receiver. Our EDF units. Pretty nice looking unit. Little ducted fans here. Uh, inside our fuselage, we've got uh, our Dean's connector, we've got uh, servo leads. Two Hobby Wing 18 amp uh, speed controllers. Alright, we're ready to uh, start putting together our Guanli A10 here. Uh, first thing I'm going to do for just to uh, start putting together my landing gear, uh, just slide the tire on. There's a little retainer that comes with it. A little set screw. Just do that for all three of the gear. Okay, I've got my gear put together. I'm just going to put these to the side. Uh, one important thing to note on these, there's a uh, little, one side of the wheel sticks out a little further than the other. Uh, you want that towards the gear uh, so the tire doesn't rub on the stroke itself. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open this glue up. And I'm going to go ahead and attach Vertical fence. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, put my EDF units on here and make sure they fit in there. 
Okay, just put a few dabs of glue on here. Okay. There's one. Okay, I'm ready to uh, put the servo in the wing. Uh, I've noticed that the servo will not fit this hole uh, the way it is now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a hot knife and just kind of trim back some of the foam on the inside red hot knife here and we'll just trim back a little bit of foam on the inside and make sure that the cable fits without pinching. Didn't take much, just a little bit. Fits no problem. We got the uh, servo lead coming out of the little groove provided. Take just screw it down with provided screws. Looks good, fits tight. Basically, all I'm going to do before I put that arm in is I'm going to hook it into the channel that's going in. And I'm just going to center the trim before I put the uh, servo arm on here and uh, center it that way. The other servo arm here. Alright. Looks like they're uh, going to fit with just a minimal amount of adjustment. I'm going to have to turn uh, the adjustment in on these just a little bit to get them to fit right. <clears throat> what I've had to do here is uh, this uh, servo uh, right here, the uh, linkage didn't fit uh, so well. I actually had to drill out the holes to get the uh, linkage in, and uh, I've had to considerably uh, turn in the, the horn on the linkage to get it to line up. I just turned it uh, clockwise to turn it in to shorten it. Uh, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get my control surfaces level across the board. Uh, that way it's pretty much trimmed out when I go to fly it. Okay, now that I've got my servo installed and uh, i got the control surfaces leveled, I'm going to go ahead and start installing the landing gear. Okay, they're clipped in, and now I'm just going to take these uh, provided screws and screw them in.